Hello, my name is Cardinal Joe Tobin. I'm the Archbishop of Newark. Just celebrated my fifth anniversary of being part of this wonderful church that embraces the counties of Bergen, Hudson, Essex, and Union. It's been quite a ride. And if I haven't met you yet, I, I hope I will somewhere along the way. What I'm talking to you about today is the possibility of joining an event that's important in the Archdiocese of Newark, in the Catholic Church, but really in the history of the world. It's probably the largest listening and discussion event ever undertaken in the history of the world. You know, we Catholics are more than a billion some spread across the face of this earth. And our Holy Father Pope Francis has asked those billion some people, including you, to be part of a a discernment process to see what is God saying to the church today. Now, why is he asking you? He's asking you because you're baptized. And in baptism, and if you've been confirmed, in confirmation, the gift of the Spirit of God has been given to you. And so you have something to say. You have something to say about what it means to be a Catholic, what the church ought to be doing, how you feel part of that church or don't feel part of the church. You being here today is a really encouraging sign for me and for so many. So many times we hear the young people are the church of tomorrow. That's true, but you're also part of the church of today. Your thoughts and voices count. The information that will be shared among you will be shared first in a context of prayer. You're gonna to pray together. Because it, what we're talking about is not simply a political process or a survey or opinion poll, a focus group. It's the people of God listening to the Holy Spirit. Pope Francis once said, young people, make the most of these years of your youth. Don't observe life from a balcony. Don't confuse happiness with an armchair or live your life behind a screen. The Holy Father's counting on you, so am I to be part of this process. It's taking place across the archdiocese today and really across the world. And what is shared will be summarized and then distributed at a national level so that bishops and representatives from all the dioceses of our country, along with the Canadians and Mexicans, and our neighbors in North America, can discuss what is God saying to the church today? And then this will be all in preparation for a meeting of the bishops that's going to take place in 2023. But those bishops aren't going to go in and sort of nudge each other and say, what do you think we should do? We'll have the, the gift of what you're going to say today. The Holy Spirit will speak through you, and we as bishops must listen. So I'm counting on you. I thank you so much for being part of this. I really hope that you feel at home in this church, which is our family. And I look for you somewhere along the way. Pray for me, I pray for you, and God bless you and your family always. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.